Mr. Singh, first up, uh, the first snapshot of the Amphi data that's just trickled in for the month of June. Tell us, uh, uh, compared to the previous month, how does that look like? First, weigh in on, on that. Oh, it looks very good. I mean, people are uh, putting in uh, money after the uh, results. See, people have got a lot of confidence. And there's a good money which is flowing into the equity funds. See, of course, out of 40,000 crore, which we are talking about, almost 21,000 crore comes through uh, the SAPs only. But but uh, yes, there's, there's a more confidence, more trust in the market. And because of the policy continuation, I think we'll continue to have more flows, not only from domestic market, from but from outside as well. Right. Uh, Mr. Singh, uh, we see a uh, small cap and the mid cap, you know, we see strong inflows for the third straight month. However, for the large cap funds, we're seeing, uh, you know, the, the, you know, the inflow has been rather muted for the, you know, three, uh, third straight month. Uh, tell us, uh, when can we see this picking up? When can we see the inflows picking up for the large caps? I don't think we should be worried about uh, the large cap getting inflows through mutual funds or not, because otherwise also, the large caps, whenever FIIs are coming and or some uh, the international players are coming, they first get into the large caps. That may not be coming from the uh, the, the mutual fund uh, platform, but but uh, uh, the larger uh, companies are also getting flows. And more money, which is especially passive side, in any case, into the large cap, we may not see the large cap category itself having flows. But the other funds also, even you talk about the mid-cap and small-cap, every mid-cap and large-cap has some percentage of uh, large-cap stocks also. So, so don't, don't look at uh, the numbers just in the large-cap category, but large-cap stocks are getting uh, quite good flows.